one can see the supratemporal subluxed intraocular lens. This is despite implantation of a regular capsular tension ring implanted at the time of initial surgery six weeks ago. The overlying anterior capsular axis edge has become opaque and fibrotic after only six weeks. Hoffman scale pockets have already been formed at the initial operation when a partial Keone ring segment was planned but not implanted due to reasonable post-regular capsular tension ring implantation position. Unfortunately, as might have been predicted, early fibrosis of the capsule has resulted in subluxation away from the area of weakness towards the strong zonules. There is no vitreous prolapse obvious. Infranasal zonular weakness has occurred secondary to trauma. So there is, is no chronic degenerative disease causing progressive, more widespread zonular weakness. The, the scleral pockets are reopened. Viscoelastic is used to free and open the capsular bag from the intraocular lens to provide space for the partial, partial Keone ring segment as shown. A tenoproline suture is tied to the eyelet of the fixation hook and the segment is gently inserted into the eye and placed within the capsule at the appropriate position, ensuring that the fixation hook is over the anterior capsular axis. A docking needle then pierces the conjunctiva and sclera one millimeter behind the limbus through the prepared scleral pocket into the eye at the position of the sulcus. This acts as a guide for the needle holding the tenoproline attached to the ring segment. The needle is then gently guided through the sclera, taking care not to damage any other structure either at the front or by the trailing end. A curved needle, for example the KIF-4 needle, would make this procedure slightly easier. The first suture is retrieved from the scleral pocket prior to introducing the second needle one millimeter lateral to the first. The second suture is then similarly retrieved. Both sutures are then tied using an initial double throw to allow the knot to slide easily and symmetrically into the scleral pocket. The suture is then tightened to the point of IOL fixation within the center of the pupil. It is then locked with a further two single throws.